A customer was doing a complete overhaul on a C12 CAT engine and brought us a cylinder head for a rebuild. We ordered up an entire overhaul kit, including the valve train components from IPD parts before ever even looking at the head, which ended up being a mistake. The cylinder head was cracked on almost every cylinder, so now our only choice was to get the customer a new aftermarket head. Luckily, our supplier could provide us a bare head so that we would at least be able to use some of the parts we had ordered. When the head came in, we double checked the valve recession and the valve stem clearance, which both fell within the allowable tolerance. However, upon checking the valve seat runout, we knew we could do better. With the head set up on the 34.5 valve seat machine, we recut all of the exhaust seats as well as all of the intake seats, removing as little material as possible in order to not drop the seats outside of the valve recession tolerance. After recutting all of the seats, we went ahead and lubricated the valve stems and assembled the head with the new IPD parts using our pneumatic valve spring compressor. If you're wondering whether or not we were actually able to improve the valve seat runout, the full video of the results is live on our YouTube channel now.